is um, a Colorado mountain dog. Jack is a Maremma, which is a Itali an yeah. Italian sheepdog. Can one of you put my hand on top of Jack Daniels? Jack doesn't care if, if your hand doesn't work the same way or um, what you're doing or how you do it. He just likes to say hi. Um, and I see people from the beginning to the end get so much more confident and stronger. Get a little rush of endorphins. I woke up in January 2014 not being able to breathe. Um, I was put in the hospital for a lung hemorrhage. A pulmonary embolism had hit my lungs. They put me in a coma and I woke up with two major strokes to my brain stem, completely paralyzed after months of being in the hospital. Um, and I was told I would probably never talk and never walk again uh, the same way. So I was admitted into Craig in February 2014 and um, began my journey to learning how to walk and talk again. While I was here, I know there was a moment um, when they were bringing the therapy dogs in and I had been on the mat really working very hard but frustrated and still not sure of who I was or where I belonged, what I wanted to do. And um, the dog, the lady who was handling him, put him up on the mat with me. And I started to pet him and I realized as I was petting him that I was still the person that I remembered being. I could make a dog happy. Um, and that was very special. And then we started using the dogs that came in for therapy for me to use my right side again to brush, to feed. Um, and it became, it just opened a whole new door that the person I was before who loved animals that was involved, um, I could still be human and I could still be that person. I just might define it a little differently now. Glad to hear that you uh, graduated out of here and uh, <laughs> it looks like you're doing great. Yeah, this is such a good hospital to, and you just never know, you never stop progressing either. It was really on my heart that I wanted to come back down here and do that same thing for patients that I had done for me, too. Oh, you're so sweet. For <laughs> such a big mouth, you taste so gently. I know, he's usually pretty nice. And so I love I to, to share him. my dog, uh, but I also love to try to inspire patients and help them understand that there are people out there that understand what they're going through, that have been there, and that life goes on and we change so much. We may be... Uh, redefine our life, but we're not changing who we are on the inside. It is that piece of the unconditional love um, that an animal has in that piece that they don't care and they don't judge you if you're different or you move different or you, you look different now. They just care that you're there to be companions with them.